Good evening and welcome to the Tililinda program. My name is Chemtai Kirui. Tonight, we turn our focus to a pressing health issue impacting our region, the Mpox virus. The situation constitutes a public health emergency of international concern. On August 14, 2024, the World Health Organization escalated Mpox to a public health emergency of international concern. Mpox has been reported in the Democratic Republic of the Congo for more than a decade, and the number of cases reported each year has increased steadily over that period. Last year, reported cases increased significantly and already the number of cases reported so far this year has exceeded last year's total, with more than 14,000 cases and 524 deaths. Today, the emergency committee met and advised me that, in its view, the situation constitutes a public health emergency of international concern. I have accepted that advice. The detection and rapid spread of a new clade of Mpox in Eastern DRC, its detection in neighboring countries that had not previously reported Mpox, and the potential for further spread within Africa and beyond is very worrying. In addition to other outbreaks of other clades of Mpox in other parts of Africa, it's clear that a coordinated international response is essential to stop these outbreaks and save lives. This declaration showcases the disease's alarming spread and severity. Mpox, previously known as the monkeypox, was first detected at the Democratic Republic of Congo in September 2023 and has since expanded beyond the DRC Congo to neighboring countries including Kenya, Rwanda, Burundi, Uganda and now Sweden. With Kenya recording its first case in the Taita Taveta County in the late July 2024. Mpox as we know it is an infectious disease. It's caused by the virus and the virus is known as the monkeypox virus. Now it's usually characterized by three major symptoms. There are many but the major ones uh, I would like to state is that it's characterized by fever and then we have swelling of lymph nodes. The lymph nodes are usually found in your neck, axilla or the armpit and then around the groins. But then it's also followed by lesions. So lesions in the mouth, in other mucosas and the skin rash which uh, starts on the face and then can spread to other parts of the body including the palms your hand and the soles of the foot. Usually uh, most people recover but some people do develop severe disease and then uh, a few people unfortunately die from the disease as well, those who, who develop complications. Kenya had identified 14 suspected cases including one confirmed case of Mpox or what the doctors are calling MPXV CLED 1B. While 12 cases tested negative and results for one are pending, there have been no deaths reported in Kenya so far in regards to Mpox virus. Mpox was first discovered in 58 in captive monkeys and the first human case was identified in 1970 in the DRC. For decades, it was regarded as a rare infection confined to remote areas of tropical Africa. The 2022 2023 global outbreak, however, revealed Mpox potential for widespread transmission affecting over 100 countries and nearly 90,000 cases worldwide. This recent surge of Mpox is driven by the more virulent strain, which has a higher case fatality rate and exhibits increased human-to-human -human transmission. The outbreak in Africa, particularly the DRC, has continued largely unabated with significant numbers of cases and deaths reported. The virus has now spread into several neighboring countries, presenting a complex challenge for regional and global health systems. In response to this crisis, the Kenyan Ministry of Health has been proactive in addressing this situation. 
The Health Cabinet Secretary, Dr. Deborah Mlongo Baraza, recently assessed the country's preparedness by touring key health facilities, including Kenyatta National Hospital and the National Public Health Laboratories. Emphasizing the importance of preventive measures such as regular hand washing and avoiding close contact with infected individuals. It's spread mostly by close skin to skin contact. Part of the problem with monkeypox mm. has a long incubation period. If you're exposed to it, it may take a week or two to get symptoms. First symptoms fever, fatigue, muscle aches, swollen lymph nodes. Then a week after that, this characteristic rash. That rash is what really spreads it. So when you get that, you're going to spread it if you come close to in contact with people. So I guess the message is with strangers, be careful with getting too close to strangers right now because you never know who may have monkeypox. The disparities in access to vaccines and treatments between high-income and low-income countries have been stuck. While developed nations had access to vaccines and treatments, many African countries, including the DRC, have struggled with shortages and slow distribution. Recent efforts are underway to address these gaps, but the scale of the outbreak requires a coordinated international response. Tonight on this program, we will delve deeper into the impact of this outbreak, examining its implication for our region and the steps we can take to safeguard our communities. We will be joined by Dr. Hilary Tarus, a general practitioner and psychiatrist, will offer experts insights into mpox virus. We will discuss the current situation, preventive measures, treatment option, and the critical role of both global and local health responses. So stay with us as we provide in-depth coverage and expert analysis on the mpox virus right here on CAST TV. Don't go so far.